I think is the best media personality, uh, the only objective one, not part of the blue check media mob on Twitter, who should have his own TV show, I think, here on Fox. Anyway, Joe, uh, I thought that student asking Humpty Dumpty the question, he nailed it, and Humpty had no answer. An 18-year-old just schooled CNN... that this is a classic example of the right-wing media machine, unquote. So this has always been the playbook, right, Sean, with stories damaging the Democrats or the media. Blame the right-wing media, blame Russian information. And we wonder why more and more Americans see journalists now as activists. And once that trust is broken, it's very hard to put Humpty Dumpty back together, Sean. It would be interesting to see if Jeff Zucker's uh, stenographer, Humpty, gets to stay with new management coming in. Dumpty. that. Oh! Douglas, let's get your take on it. Yeah, I absolutely agree with that. And I mean, th that, that comment from Anne Applebaum of The Atlantic magazine is also absolutely typical of the media landscape you've just described, Sean. You know, Anne Applebaum uh, is, was a distinguished historian of uh, Russia and much more. And then in recent years... Well, a college freshman calls out CNN's misleading coverage right to liberal host Brian Stelter's face. Listen to this. All the mistakes of the mainstream media and CNN in particular seem to magically all go in one direction. Are we expected to believe that this is all just some sort of random coincidence or is there something else behind it? It's too bad. It's time for lunch. <laughs> joins us now. Joe, this di disinformation seminar is becoming quite the event. You just heard Brian Selter there. Great yeah. question. He had no answer for it. Carly, for, for a conference that's supposed to be tackling disinformation, there's certainly a ton of disinformation being shoveled out there, right? And, and none of us got invited, thank God. Uh, and, and all this disinformation being shoveled there, it sticks to your boots. Look, a after this student, his name is Christopher Phillips, and if I had a, a younger brother, uh, he would look like Christopher Phillips. Uh, he rightly points out all the things that CNN and traditional media got wrong. Uh, Russia collusion, he talked about. Jesse Smollett smearing Brett Kavanaugh as a rapist. Nick Nicholas Sandman, uh, that smearing campaign against another teenager, calling the Hunter Biden story, uh, yeah, Russian disinformation. Uh, the CNN media guy answers by saying everything that Phillips broached was, quote, a pop.